Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. What is a dop kit? Recently, I've had several video requests that read something like this. Geo, what's in your dop kit? Please show us. Here's my dop kit. This is a Shave Nation toiletry bag or dop kit. It's made of a heavy Cordura type material. It has four zippered compartments and some of them are waterproof and some are not. It's a good sized dop kit will hold just about whatever you need to be held, it can handle it. Dop kits can come in leather, fabric, all different types of materials. There's many different types of dop kits or toilet kits out there. Firstly, what is a dop kit? A toiletry bag, also called a toiletry kit, ditty bag, dop kit, bathroom bag, sponge bag, toilet bag, toilet article kit, body hygiene kit, travel kit, wash bag, wash kit, shaving kit, or wet pack. It is a portable container, usually a pouch with a drawstring or a zippered closure that holds personal hygiene and toiletry supplies such as toothbrush and toothpaste, dental floss, cotton swabs, deodorant, nail clippers, tweezers, soap, shaving supplies, hairbrush, contact lenses, and similar items while traveling and in other circumstances where permanent shelves and cabinets are unavailable or impractical for use. The DOP kit's name comes from a German named Charles Doppelt, whose company designed the case in 1926. Toiletry kits had been issued by the US military during World War I. Toiletry and DOP kits became synonymous when the military issued them during World War II. The leather toiletry case, which was then distributed to GIs, became well known and commonly used by men the world over. We also know that Gillette razor kits were also issued to GIs, as I mentioned in my video entitled All About Double Edge Razor Blades. I'll put a link, you can check that out. While we're on the subject, what is a GI? GI are initials used to describe the soldiers of the United States Army and airmen of the United States Air Forces and general items of their equipment. The term GI has been used as initials of government issue, general issue, or ground infantry, but it originally referred to galvanized iron as used by the logistics services of the United States Armed Forces. When troops originally saw GI slapped on some piece of government property, they were likely mopping the floors or doing some other kind of cleaning work because GI meant galvanized iron, and it more often than not was found on buckets used by the US military. Since the one thing all U.S. troops get experience with is cleaning, the term spread to include all things U.S. military, including the people themselves. By World War II, U.S. troops were affectionately known as GIs all around the country. By the way, my favorite toys as a child were a G.I. Joe bazooka and an erector set. Youngsters, if you don't think you know what an erector set is, you might be wrong. You've seen the movie The Sandlot, right? Right? Tell me you've seen it. Okay, the contraption that the boys used to attempt to retrieve the lost Babe Ruth signed ball from the yard where Hercules lived featured many erector set parts. If you haven't seen the movie, you're killing me, Smalls. See it. It's how I grew up, and in my opinion, it's how all kids should grow up. What to look for in a DOP kit? Be sure to select a sturdy, properly sized bag that fits all of your chosen accessories inside yet still fits into your luggage. Don't be afraid to spend a little extra on it. You should plan on having it forever. Things you will need to outfit your DOP kit. Number one, the DOP or toiletry kit itself. Inside the kit, a hairbrush or a comb, toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss or dental picks, nail clippers, nail file or emery board, this actually has many uses. You can sand a lot of different things with these other than your toenails and fingernails. Very handy. A buffing block. A travel razor and blades. Keep in mind, no blades in the carry-on. You can take the razor on, but not the blades. A shaving soap stick or other shaving cream or soap. Aftershave, alum block, Nick sealer or styptic pencil, soap or body wash, shampoo and conditioner, hair gel. 
Deodorant? P.S. Your alum black can also be your deodorant. Liquids and balms should be in a travel size container, three ounces or less. For more details, see my video, TSA, what you can take on board. Link up there. Optional items, a small scissors, lip balm, hand cream, cotton swabs, pain reliever, aspirin, Advil, Tylenol, or other, glasses and or contact lenses, contact lens solution or dry eye solution, and last but not least, condoms, which I don't happen to have any with me at the moment. If I haven't mentioned something that you put in your dop kit, please share down below, let us know. I'm sure we'd all love to hear about it. And I would also like to say thank you, Mr. Dop, for inventing the dop kit. I'm guessing that if you didn't do it, someone else may have done it, but we're happy it's there and we're happy to use one and it makes our traveling much easier. By the way, you may want to keep your empty dop kit inside your luggage so that you can find it easily without calling out a search party every time you need to travel somewhere. Since you stayed till the very end, I'll share a story with you, a little personal story. That happened about four years ago. We had gone to New York around the holidays and we went to the airport, going through security, did all that, no problem, got on the plane. I'm sitting on the plane, I had a little jacket on, and I put my hand inside my pocket, my coat pocket, and I felt something, and without taking it out, I thought to myself, whoa, I know what that is. And I felt it again, and I was like, okay, I don't think I'll take it out and look at it, I'll just leave it where it's at. After the flight, I'll verify. After we left the airport, I went outside, put my hand in my pocket, and I pulled out a five pack of Astra Superior Platinum Blades. It had been in my pocket. I have no idea how it got there. I did not remember putting it there. I was thankful that nobody checked for it because if they did, that would probably have opened up a world of who knows what. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I, I might not even be here right now, who knows. But anyway, that was an accident on my part. I don't even know how it happened, to be honest. Maybe somebody was trying to conspiracize me and they stuck it in my pocket. Who knows? Sometimes these unexpected incidents that happen to us in our lives, they're a little bit unnerving in the moment. But just keep your cool. Take three or four deep breaths, four seconds in, four seconds out, you know, like the Navy SEALs do. Calm yourself and you'll get through. All right, do me a favor before I head out. Please smash that subscribe button down there and then ring the bell. Ring it. So you'll be subscribed to my channel. All my upcoming videos will go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. Plus, subscribing helps the channel grow, so I really appreciate it. If you want to purchase any of these items, just click down below the video where it says show more or go to shavenation.com. Enter what you need in the search box. It'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.